five more minutes. I want to give, do an experiment, tell you how we address this higher function. So when I am getting old, I cannot, uh, I want to do something that young people uh, would not do. That is high risk experiment. Now, these are all high risk experiment, self, non self, all these things. Well, people, uh, you don't know how to attack it, and you don't know how to really solve the problem. So I, I was able to convince to uh, a young uh, uh, associate uh, to work with me to, to work on the self-awareness in uh, monkeys. Now, self-awareness, we know uh, in human, a baby, uh, if you have a baby, you might notice uh, they, in general, two years required before they can recognize themselves in the mirror. Now, we don't know what happened. Somewhere by two years old, on average, the, the baby will start to recognize themselves in the mirror. Now, are they genetically programmed to do this, or are they actually learned to do this? Nobody knows. I will remind you, uh, uh, I, I'll tell you that with my, my, the experiment I'm going to say now suggests that they are acquire this ability by learning. Right? Because in some primate, uh, like apes, some apes can show self-awareness. Now, how do you know self-awareness? One, one test is to give you a mirror. If you look at a mirror, you can see a mirror in, in a mirror. They can, they can do, uh, you have a mark on the face, they will touch their own face. They, they can you know, pick their teeth uh, in, in a mirror. That suggests they know that uh, what's in the, in the, in the mirror uh, are themselves, right? So, only human as few species of uh, great apes are, known, are capable of doing the self, mere self-recognition. Not monkey. Monkey, for 40 years people have tried to have monkey to recognize them, uh, themselves in the mirror by all kinds of training and they all fail. Human babies takes two years and so, and some psychiatric patients and autistic kids, they seem not aware of themselves when they give them a mirror. They seem to be unaware that the image is are themselves. Right? So there's the, the, something self-awareness uh, is important for, for that function. So we decided to train monkey uh, to see whether we can make them aware of themselves in a mirror. The, the way to do it is to, uh, well, here's the example of a monkey before training. <laughs> they, they will never know that, that something in the mirror are themselves. No matter how long we do this, well, this is repeat, repeated uh, uh, exposure. Uh, we, we could never know. You can you can put a mirror in the cage of, from the beginning of their uh, birth for uh, until adulthood. They will never learn to recognize themselves. So how do you know they didn't recognize? Put a mark on a on a face. A, a apes will go there and scratch their face on a scratch on a mark. Monkey will not do it. This is called mark test. Mark test is the standard go stand a test for self-awareness in front of the mirror. So what we do, we will train the monkey to, uh, to, uh, to make association. Monkey is sitting on a chair, facing a mirror. This is an image in the mirror. Then we put a laser pen, high power laser pen, that gives a slight tinkling feeling on the face. So whenever we have a light on, the monkey would feel a little bit tinkling feeling. So they are trying to, they are, uh, trying to uh, associate image in the mirror with a sensation in their face. Uh, visual semantic sensory association. That's why we want to establish. Uh, so this is an experiment done by uh, Gong Men, uh, and, and his student. Uh, uh, Gong is associate, uh, a research uh, associate professor. Uh, so here's the training. Are you doing with them some food? <laughs> For in the beginning, so they touch, they encourage them to touch themselves. So we train this for three weeks, or one to three weeks. After that, you can uh, give the low power, uh, like now there's no feeling, no technical feeling. Just touch, they 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 will do it, and no food will work. You can different colors would be the same. They they will make it, They will associate. So now they associate the, uh, the image with their face. But how do you know this low light level doesn't produce a feeling? When you put on my own face, I, uh, I couldn't feel it.
but the monkey may, may be sensitive to it. So the way to test it, we, we put a video, literally video, uh, that monkey see a video, uh, video and use a mouse to produce a spot on the video and then see whether they can recognize that spot in the video. So there's no light on their face. Uh, can we recognize that? Right? So this is the mirror video. Uh, a spot on their face, they would, they would touch the spot. Right? So that's okay. So now it is a gold standard test. They did this most important test. Yeah, where do they touch the mark on the face? Now, you put a mark on a, on a, on a, on a monkey's face without even knowing it, right? Uh, then, then, uh, there's an odorless, no sensation. Uh, so there's a green mark on the side. So they, they learn to do this, right? So, everything's fine on the chair. So now we put it back to the cage. Uh, I didn't show you the statistic, but I can tell you, uh, uh, this uh, not a hundred percent successful. Seven monkey trend, five monkey eventually passed uh, the test, uh, self recognition test. So there are two monkeys who have never known. Uh, there are stupid monkey as well, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is a mark test in the cage. Now, so this is a real uh, mirror. So they touch the mark on the face. You probably can see it, it's a, a mark. And when they touch, look, and smell. And it's, a, it's a stereotype behavior. Okay, so, so they see a face with a mark, and they touch themselves. So the question is, are they really recognize them, that's themselves, or are simply a face with a mark? Uh, maybe another monkey with a with the face mark, they will touch themselves as a, as a conditioned response, right? So we put two monkeys in the same cage. And an, another monkey, not trained monkey, with a mark on the, on the other monkey. Uh, like this is two monkeys. Uh, the, the green one, uh, with the green color, this is a trained monkey. Now the mark is now on the, uh, the other monkey. So this monkey is, uh, will touch that face, that mark, not touching his own. Right? They, they touch the, uh, the uh, other monkeys. Now if you put the uh, mark on themselves, this on the trained monkey, right? so now mark, mark is on themselves. They immediately look uh, at the... Right. So, okay, so there's another uh, potential test. Now maybe uh, uh, sitting from the same cage, uh, it's different. Uh, if we have a mirror that shows a different monkey on the mirror, maybe they, they would uh, not recognize that's not that themselves. So this is a new experiment we call the, um, uh, the uh, glass wall mirror experiment. We put uh, two monkeys, both marked on the face, with a glass wall, separate them. So they're looking, they're looking at the monkey on the other side. They, if they see another monkey on the other side with a mark, they should touch their own face, but they don't. They just interact. They, they have social behavior rather than uh, touch their own face. Right? Then we do this in uh, glass wall versus mirror, alternating. Now, at the same time, uh, same duration, many, many times. And they compare the mark versus uh, Mirror, and when they are in the mirror is on, they they immediately look and touch themselves. When the glass wall is on, there's another monkey on the other side. They don't touch themselves. Right? So this is the type of experiment. So um, the real uh, thing is that you know, there's many mark, and you see whether the monkey can have a spontaneous behavior that looks like looking in the mirror. So this is uh, the trained monkey. They become very interested in uh, in a part of their body that was not visible before. This is pulling the hair on their face. There's no mark now. Huh? Now there's a uh, co co-host monkey that's... <laughs> so they like to look on the rear end. That seems to be very in most interesting to them.
and the co-host monkey never wins. The one that passed the five out of seven monkey that passed this test kept the ability. Uh, well, the longest one is one and a half years. So once they pass the threshold, they preserve that ability of recognizing their, uh, on themselves in the mirror. So the implication is that this monkey can learn mirror self-recognition. And the human baby that acquired the ability of self-recognition may be learned during the first two years. Maybe it depends on the parents telling the kid, telling the baby, oh, oh yeah, see, baby in the mirror, baby in the mirror. And keep saying that. The baby eventually learns, that's, that's mine, that's me. Right? So that, that's, a, that's maybe a, a training procedure, which we don't know whether that's happening. Right? I guess that's what's happening. Impairment of self-awareness, like mirror self-recognition in humans, can be treated by establishing visual somatic sensory association. Right? That may be a, a therapeutic approach. Um, and now you can see what the next experiment, you have to know what's happening to the circuit in the monkey's brain. What's happening before and after training? What special, uh, what special circuit has been formed? But where, which area become activated? Uh, that's the site for self-awareness. Right? Self-awareness is the part of the consciousness. Right? So we're talking about uh, uh, the mystery of the brain, where the consciousness is. Uh, this is a, 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 a op opening in the, door, in the window to that study. Um, so uh, this is how the people who work with me. Uh, I, I skipped most of the work uh, done by Li Zhang, Tao Tei Zhong, Bi Guo Chang. They are work done, uh, especially monkey work, by Guangdong and a student, Zhang Yantang, in Shanghai. So I'll stop here and thank you for your attention.